Hey everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks for tuning in. And today we're gonna do a little beginner series, just an easy practice. I'm here in Mysore, in India, we're on the balcony. And as you can probably hear, there's a little bit of background noise that's coming in and that's totally just the way it is. And one of the most important things when you're doing the practice is you don't need a perfect, quiet, peaceful space to do the practice. You carry the seed of peace within you everywhere. And a lot of people think that you need to be flexible to start, you need to be really, really peaceful to start, but actually it's really good if you just kind of begin the practice exactly where you are. So one of the key components to the yoga practice is uniting your mind, your body, with your breath. So we're gonna start off with conscious deep inhalation and exhalation. I want you to suck your belly in and sit up real straight, and we'll take five deep breaths, sealing the lips, breathing in and out through the nose with a conscious sound of sa as you inhale and ha as you exhale. So inhale. Exhale. Again, inhale. Let the breath come deep into the body, moving deep inside. Exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, we got two more breaths. Let the breath calm and concentrate the mind as you inhale, moving deep in through the inner body and exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Now that you've used the breath to initiate the space of the practice, gently take your hands together and inhale. Exhale the sound OM to initiate the internal awareness. Take a moment and feel the inner body tune in to the breath, tune into the body. And now, with that set as your intention, come on to your hands and knees. And as you come on to the hands and knees, we're gonna build up strength and flexibility. Start off on the hands and knees plank, gripping the fingertips, rooting down through the knuckles and rooting down through the heels of the hands, all right? So, widen through the shoulders, gently round your back, and let's hold this for five. One, two, three, sucking the belly in, four, and five. Come on back to child's pose, knees together. Hold it there for a moment. And then inhale, come back onto the hands and knees, two, round in the back, three, press up with the shoulders, four, and five, curl your toes under, inhale, and exhale, downward facing dog. Take a good distance, hands are shoulder width apart, feet are hips width apart, send the hips back and up, and we'll stay here for five. One, two, three, four, and five, come back down onto your knees. Hold it here for a moment. Two, three, four, and curl your toes under and inhale. Let's come up to plank, five breaths in plank. One, suck in the belly, move the shoulders over the palms. Two, three, four, and exhale all the way down to the ground. Pointing the toes back behind you, come up onto the elbows. We're gonna do a nice easy cobra pose. Inhale, lift the chest, one. Lift your kneecaps up, two. Nice and steady, three, four, and five. Walk your hands back and inhale. Come all the way up to upward facing dog, pressing from the shoulders, pull the chest forward. One, two, three, 
four, curl your toes under and exhale, downward facing dog again. Nice and easy. One, keeping the belly sucked in. Two, three, four. And now we're gonna twist out the down dog. So move the hips over to the left, pivoting around the left foot, sucking the belly in. Three, four, and five. Back to the center. And then we're gonna pivot to the other side, pivot around the right foot. One, two, three, four, and five. Back to the center. Nice and easy. Let's look forward and exhale gently all the way down. Come back up onto the elbows. Inhale, lift the chest up and forward, placing the ribs on the ground, stretch the legs back, and Shalabhasana position. One. Nice and easy. Two, three, four, and five. Gently rest down, bending the knees underneath you. Inhale and exhale, child's pose. Hold it nice and steady. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, lift your left arm. Exhale, thread it all the way through, raising the arm above your head, gazing up to your right elbow. One, two, three, four, back to the center, and over to the other side, thread your right arm through, big inhale, as you exhale through, left arm overhead, gaze at the left elbow, one, two, three, four, and five, back to the center, Keep the gaze right between the hands. And inhale, exhale, and step back to plank. Okay, we're gonna hold plank for five. One, two, three, four, and over to the side plank. One, keep the gaze right at your right hand. Two, three, four, Back to the center, hold plank again. Over to the left side and slide the feet back. Keep the gaze at the left hand. One, stacking the feet. Two, three. How you guys doing? Four and five. Back to the center, hold the plank for a moment. Nice and steady. Exhale, placing the chest on the ground for a moment. Inhale, come forward to upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Pause in downward facing, another five breaths. One, nice and easy. Two, three, four, and five. Step in the right foot forward, plant the left knee down. Come up to Anjanayasana for a moment. Hands on the hips, we'll take it real easy here. One, two, three, four, and hands above the head. One, two, three, four, and five. Taking the hands down, let's take a nice easy step back to plank plank all the way down to the ground inhale take it forward to upward facing exhale down okay let's do the other side left foot forward right knee down come on up nice and easy switching the hands to your hips inhale exhale gently down one steady your mind two three four and five inhale arms up one two three four 
and five. Gently take the hands down, step it back to the plank pose. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale, come forward to upward facing. Nice deep breath. Exhale, downward facing. From downward facing, you're going to place your elbows on the ground, walk the legs back, and we'll hold the dolphin plank for five. One, two, three, keep the belly sucked in, four, and five. Move your shoulders forward, one, two, three, four, and gently place the knees down. Come on back, downward facing dog. Hold the downward facing for a moment. Belly sucks nice and in, creating space behind the pubic bone. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Inhale, step the right foot forward, planting the left heel down. Come up for a moment, lifting the chest up and forward. One, two, three, four, and if you're comfortable here, take your left hand, cross over, planting it on the ground, raise the right arm up. One, two, make sure the hips are real square. Pivot around the spinal axis, four, and five. Exhale, place the hands down, step back. Inhale and exhale all the way down. Inhale, come on forward to upward facing. Exhale down, let's do the other side. So now you're gonna step forward with the left foot. Come up onto your fingertips. Shoulders forward and chest up. Two, three, four, and five. Take the right hand, cross it over if you're, if you're comfortable. Spiraling around your spinal axis. Lift up, one, two, keep the belly sucked in. Three, four, and five. Take the hands down. Send the chest forward for a moment. Come up onto the right foot and step back to the plank pose. From the plank pose, now let's try Chaturanga Dandasana. Just right forward to upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Step forward with the right and the left foot, coming to seated. Okay, take the right foot the right knee over the left. Pause for a moment, spreading the feet apart but pointing the toes. Take your hands and wrap your hands underneath your right knee, gently looking down, five breaths. One, two, three, four, and five. Take the right hand overhead, left arm reaches behind you, finding the hands. One, two, if it's comfortable for you, you can look up. Three, four, and five. Gently release. Take the right foot, sliding it forward. Hug that into your body for a moment. And then easy, gentle twist over to the side. Placing your hands in prayer. Look over to the right. One, two, three. Keep the belly real sucked in, the legs firm. Four, think about the space behind the right hip. Five, inhale back to the center. Stretch the leg out. Roll over to the side and step all the way back to the plank pose. Exhale down to the ground. Inhale, come forward to upward facing. Exhale down. Step forward with the right and the left foot. Come on back to seated and we'll switch the sides. That's the left foot on top this time. Stack the knees right over each other, settling the hips between the feet. Interlock the fingers, placing them right underneath your knee, gently looking down. One, two, three, four, and five. Left arm reaches up, right arm behind. Find your fingers. One, two, keep the toes pointed. Three, 
four, and five. Gently release. Taking the left foot and placing it right on top, hold your shin for a moment. Hug the belly inside, and then wrap your torso over to the left, placing the hands in prayer as you look to the left. Two. Keep the legs firm. Three, think about the space behind the left hip joint. Four, and five. Inhale back to the center. We're not gonna step back this time, so we're gonna stretch the legs out in front of you. Dandasana position. One, two, three, four, and holding on to your toes, Paschimottanasana, inhale, exhale, easy fold, you don't need to go down too far, just take it easy, get that pivot through the hips, sending the hips back, four, and five, okay, taking the hands next to your thighs, we're going to work a little bit of core, pull the ribs in, and inhale, hips back, one, two, just keep thinking about your lower abs, three, four, eventually they come off, but no stress, five, exhale down, nice and easy, inhale, holding on to the knees, exhale, gently roll down, hugging yourself in for five, one, two, three, four, switch your hands to behind your head, alternate legs, one, two, right leg, left leg, three, four, left leg, right leg, five, we're gonna do 10, six, seven, left, right, eight, left, right, nine, one more, and 10. We do the left side, bring the knees in again, hold, elbows to the knees, one, two, three, four, gently drop the head down, hands next to your hips, inhale, lift the legs, hold it here for five, one, suck the belly deeply in, two, three, how you guys doing, four, and five, easy side to side, left side, over to the right side, that's one, we'll do it five times, and over to the right side, that's two, like a little pendulum, left, control it nice and slow, that's three, left, over to the right, that's four, one more time, left, really keep the feet together when you do that, rolling through the back, back to the center, hold it here, gently bend the knees, Come to constructive rest position for a couple breaths. Hands rest on the abdomen. Deep inhalation. Deep exhalation. Stretch the left leg out. Bend the right knee into the chest. Over to the side. Two. Three. Four. And back to the center. Switch the sides over to the right side, one, two, three, four, and five, and back to the center, stretch the legs out, come up into the fish pose, stretching the legs, this is Matsyasana, one, two, three, four, and slowly exhale all the way down. Close your eyes for a few moments of inner reflection. Tune the mind into the inner body. After a few moments of quiet inner reflection, bending through the knees and the elbows, bending the knees into your chest for a moment, give a little squeeze, 
and roll around. Let's roll over onto the side. Come all the way back up. Now, close your eyes, leaving the hands right on the knees. Gently tuning into the breath, tuning into the inner body. Feel the heart center for a moment. Feel the quiet space of the heart center, the quiet space of that inner, inner heart as though a sanctuary exists for you deep in through the inner body that's always available for you. No matter what's happening in the environment, no matter how hectic your life may be, the simplicity of the inner heart is always there. Each time you drop the mind down into that inner space, you have the chance to see yourself through the eyes of spirit, to experience the purity and the grace of who you really are. Gently bring your hands together, inhale, Om. Namaste. Remember when you're practicing yoga that it is always an inner journey and that it you don't have to do the most difficult, crazy yoga poses. What matters the most is that you take the time to tune into the inner world and let that inner sanctuary really be cultivated. Each time you practice, you allow yourself to tune in to a deeper, a deeper understanding of who you really are. And the more you practice, the more, the more that bridge to the true self is opened. I hope you're inspired to go on the spiritual journey of yoga and explore the truth, the truth of who you really are every day.